We have heard from NASA today, and it's very interesting. This is related to pressure on them to release the pictures that they have taken with their high-rise camera on the Mars orbiter on October 3rd already, and they're not releasing the images. So we have news about that, and they have given a statement and have confirmed one of Harvard professor Dr. Avi Loeb's observations. So this is kind of really, really interesting. And guys, we know NASA has activated maximum planetary defense alert to understand why the interstellar object slash comet slash alien ship 3i Atlas um, is containing pure nickel. And that's why the agency has classified the object or its trajectory as unexplained. I want to give you two quotes from Professor Dr. Avi Loeb, where he responds to criticism or comments about what he thinks this thing could be. And he says, um, I explained that in science, we are often intrigued by anomalies that are inconsistent with past paradigms. As a result, we bring forward possible theoretical interpretations which motivate the collection of new data. And he also said, despite what some influencers claim, the foundation of science is the humility to learn and not the arrogance of expertise. I really like that quote. And he says, whatever it is, the interstellar object 3i Atlas is a gift from interstellar space. It is large and relatively bright and it travels close to the ecliptic plane of the planets around the sun and hence is observable for a very long period of time by telescopes and cameras on board planetary orbiters that humanity placed in this plane. And more than any other benefit, 3i Atlas now offers a new opportunity to attract public appreciation to science and to inspire kids to become scientists, for example. So what's the latest, guys? It's really interesting. We know, I've reported in my past videos, link is in the end screen if you want to learn more about this object, that there's nine detected anomalies that make 3i Atlas completely different from the two, only two previously observed interstellar objects. So we have a statement from NASA and we have a statement, let's say about NASA as well, which is even more interesting, but also we have new images, not from NASA, from China. We have a H-I-R-I-C, that's how the camera from China is named, on board the Tianwen-1 Mars orbiter. And they took these images as Atlas took its closest approach to, to Mars. That's what NASA did as well. Because on October 3rd this year, the interstellar object 3i Atlas came within 29 million kilometers cl proximity to Mars. And we know that the highest resolution images were obtained by the high-rise camera on board NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. These are the pictures that everyone's talking about, that everyone wants to see. Because this camera has a 50 centimeter, that's that much, aperture. It has reached a spatial resolution of 30 kilometers per pixel, about three times better than the Hubble Space Telescope image that we have received from 3i Atlas on July 21st. So it potentially will give us a better picture of the object. Anna Paulina Luna has been after NASA as well. Professor Dr. Avi Loeb has written several letters to NASA trying to convince them to release these images because these images have also been um, produced in cooperation with a university that is not on government lockdown. So why is it not releasing it? So various speculations and theories were circling around um, other than it's just the government lockdown. So, and Anna Paulina Luna, she has also um, put a lot of pressure and she has posted 
something today. I'll show you this post. She said, just had a good conversation with NASA regarding 3i Atlas. As soon as the government reopens, they'll be releasing images and data. Unfortunately, due to bureaucratic reasons, they cannot until then. Or if they can write a reply, just click release. But whatever. Dr. Avi Loeb at the Galileo Project and at Harvard was correct. Now listen, in his early analysis of the abnormal tail. I've reported about this. Again, check the videos in the end screen. So they confirm his observation. NASA has also noted this, and I'm sure this will be one of many interstellar objects that we will be able to track now that technology has advanced. Yeah, because that we only know about three objects doesn't mean that there's only three objects. It's just our technology is evolving. And while we were all waiting for the end of the US government shutdown and the release of the high-rise images of 3i Atlas, the China National Space Administration has released images that they also obtained on October 3rd, 2025 by the Tianwen-1 Mars orbiter at a distance of 28.96 million kilometers from interstellar object 3i Atlas. And the Tianwen-1 orbiter entered Mars's orbit in February 2021 already. And it has this high resolution image camera that they call HIRIC. And it employs a primary mirror diameter of 38.7 centimeters, but with an inferior resolution relative to the 50 centimeter aperture of the high-rise camera. The high-rise camera is not the latest, newest camera. It's also quite old when it comes to technology. So we see, um, I'm showing you the image here, that's the released um, HIRIC images. They show the nucleus of 3i Atlas and a surrounding coma with a diameter of several thousand kilometers or several thousand miles. And the Chinese researchers generated an animation of the trajectory of 3i Atlas in the Martian sky based on a series of images that they took, a series of 30 second images. But as you can see, these images are still, well, it's a white dot on a black background. It's still nothing really that would give us a big clue in my opinion. So Dr. Avi Loeb also says, here's hoping for better images from NASA's high-rise camera in the coming days. But will that really make a huge difference, guys? I still have the feeling they will also be somewhat like that. I mean, really do not expect that you'll be able to see the surface of this thing or um, better contours or anything. So this is my opinion. Well, let's, let's wait and see. Let's hope that we will be able to see the NASA pictures very, very soon. But um, it was interesting, right? I will keep you updated about this, guys. If you find this fascinating, please subscribe, like, and hype this video, share it with your friends to support my channel, and check the links in the end screen, guys. A lot is going on. A new video about what happened after the Blatton disaster. So now we know what they're trying to do with this absolute catastrophe, catastrophe of the century, how many call it. It's in the end screen here. And if you want to learn more about Atlas, I put the Atlas playlist here. So choose from the videos that gives you all the information, guys. Thanks for watching. And I would love to see you in a second if you click here. Bye-bye.